Okay, hi guys, I'm Courtney, and today we're gonna to be making Brussels sprouts two ways. They're both vegan because I'm vegan, and I'm not really into cooking, so I like to keep it really simple. So that's what we're gonna do. One of the recipes is a Chef George recipe. I'll put his Instagram like here. Um, he puts up little videos of the recipes and then also has a blog that really explains how to make it. So one of the recipes is his and then one is just me roasting the Brussels sprouts with some spices that I like using. So the first step, I'm gonna do Chef George's first. So I'm gonna boil some water and then you boil the Brussels sprouts for 10 minutes. I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, the water's boiling. I'm gonna salt it because that's in the recipe. I don't know how much to do. And then I cut the bottoms off of the Brussels sprouts. I'll link the blog post in the description so you can just go right to it. Yeah, 425. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I have a towel over here because you need to pat off the Brussels sprouts. Oh my gosh, they're such, they're such a pretty green color. So you're supposed to let them cool for just a couple minutes and pat them dry a little bit. And then I decided I would just throw all of the Brussels sprouts in the oven at the same time, because why not? Oh no, I didn't cut the bottom off one of them. So yeah, I'll let those cool for just a couple minutes because I still have a few other Brussels sprouts to cut up. So the other ones, I'm cutting the bottoms off and then cutting them in half, the ones that are just gonna be straight up roasted. And then these ones will go on here. I'm torn on whether I should use spray olive oil or liquid olive oil because with liquid olive oil, you can't be as like precise with where it's going. So for, I didn't even tell you what kinds of Brussels sprouts we're making. The Chef George ones are like garlic chili oil Brussels sprouts. And then the ones I'm making are gonna be like garlic and pepper. So the garlic chili oil ones, the real recipe from the blog post, it says to smash them down a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm gonna use a mason jar because I think that'll work the best. Yeah, sure. They're actually pretty hard. I thought this would be easy. It looked easier in his video, but he knows what he's doing. And then there's me. And then it says to make sure they're spread out enough. So I don't have a lot of counter space. So these pans are both on the stove. And so I'm pressing down like this on the stove. So that's probably not good. I think I might use spray olive oil for both. It just seems easier. So for my Brussels sprouts recipe, I'm just gonna do garlic powder, garlic salt, and pepper. My apartment's really not gonna smell good after all of this. Garlic and Brussels sprouts. Nope, not inviting anyone over. I wasn't gonna do that anyway. Probably didn't need that much. Okay, for the garlic chili oil ones, the recipe says to leave them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And then the ones that are just having the spices on them. I'm gonna leave them in for a little longer since the garlic chili oil ones were boiled already. And I'll get back to you when I start making the 
actual garlic chili oil, but I think that'll only take, you know, a few minutes. So I'll see you then. Okay, I did the thing that I always do when I cook and that's I don't look at the clock when I put something in the oven. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna start the garlic chili oil. So the recipe says to use Korean red chili powder, but I'm gonna use crushed red pepper flakes or whatever, because that's what I have. Just these, just some olive oil. So you add the oil and the chili, whatever you're using for that, and the garlic to the pan before you turn it on. I don't know how much to pour. This is why you read the recipe closer than I did. Let me look in the oven. I really don't know how long they've been in there. So I was looking for minced garlic for this recipe and look how big this is. This was like the only container that they had. So hopefully this recipe goes really well so that I can use this again. Oil in pan. Like how much of this do I use? I don't know. More? I don't know. Again, there are quantities in the recipe in the blog post, but I'm just not doing a good job of reading it. That's the issue. This is probably gonna end up too spicy, but let's do that. And then you turn the stove on and just let this kind of simmer a little bit, I guess. Um, let me see if I can figure out if the Brussels sprouts are done. Hmm, I think they're okay. Oh, I think they're okay, oh my God. Yeah. I think the, um, the ones that are just roasted, um, I think they need a little bit longer because again, the garlic chili ones were boiled first. <sighs> okay, so the last few steps are just to, let me just read them. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, so for your, the garlic chili oil, you're supposed to Turn the heat to low and let sizzle for about five minutes. Taste and adjust with salt. It says to let it cool. Will I actually do that? Probably not. And then you just put the Brussels sprouts on a plate and drizzle the oil over. How about I just show you when it all comes out? Um, well, these ones came out. They look good. I haven't tasted them yet. And then, hang on, we have these. Cue that sound effect from TikTok that's like, oh, no, 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 no. Um... But I think the garlic chili oil looks and smells pretty good, but I mean, it's garlic, who's complaining? So I just took that off the heat and I'll let it sit for a minute or two and pour it over the Brussels sprouts, but like this one, this recipe has to come out good. I didn't come up with it. Oh, I did realize that the Brussels sprouts for the garlic chili oil were supposed to be turned over halfway through and I didn't do that. I 
I'm, I'm still feeling kind of confident about it, okay? So this has cooled a little bit. I think I put not enough oil for how much, like, toppings. Oh no, wait, it all like... Yeah, something has gone wrong in me making the oil because the garlic and the chilies are like kind of stuck together. But you know what? It's all in the taste. It doesn't even have to look good. So let's get a good piece here. Okay, it's got some oil on it. What the hell? It tastes like nothing. No, it tastes like oil. That's what it tastes like. What? It only tastes like oil. I don't know. I don't... I'm stumped. But I really don't want this to discourage anyone. We'll see if I even post this video because I failed twice, so. Is that even helpful? But I mean, like, he's got a lot of recipes. I, th I do believe they're all vegan. And I'm sure if someone who is competent recreated them, they would turn out well. So if this does make it to the internet, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, just thank you so much for watching if you're still watching at this point. And there'll be another video next week. Bye.